I got some bangers for y'all today. Some of the top stock analysts in the whole world actually announced today what stocks they're looking at. And you know when we hear about something like that, we gotta assess the situation. We gotta see if it's hot in the kitchen. We gotta see if it's time to get some money right here. So I appreciate all of y'all for sharing these videos. You guys have no idea what kind of blessings you've been putting on me. And I appreciate your time and I respect y'all. So I'm gonna get right into it. I ain't gonna spend the first five minutes talking about some nonsense that's unrelated to why you clicked on this video so if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks then you know what time it is stay out of the kitchen let's go the first one on the list is DocuSign and they're a cloud-based signature service do not sleep on DocuSign now they work with an organization to allow you to securely sign documents without having to go somewhere in person now that is huge because we know people are online banking we know people are saving for their mortgage and all of this stuff and signing for that online we know that people are working from home and the world is just transitioning so you can do everything online and instead of resisting that we want to grow with that. We want our money to grow with that. And they have grown 54% on a year. They have almost $700 million in cash equivalents on hand. And here's the banger. Alex Zukin is a stock analyst, but he's not just any stock analyst. Out of 7,100 stock analysts, this dude is ranked number six. He has a 79% success rate. Yeah, he has a 79% success rate, a 32% average return per rating. Had to double check on that. You got to be sure. And he says that this one is going to $325 because the total addressable market is expected to grow in the near future. Currently, this stock is $237 a share. It's up 2% on a day. It's up 10% on a week and it's up 221% on a year and 13 Wall Street analysts including Alex Zukin they rated it and they said on the high end it's going to 325 on a low end it's going to 230 and on the median end it's going to 227 now if we had three hundred dollars we're gonna strike we're gonna put a hundred dollars on every strike this is called averaging down you may end up averaging up but we trying to average down so here we go the first strike price is this if i see this at 220 i'm putting 100 on it if i see it at 210 i'm putting 100 on it if i see it at 200 i'm putting another 100 on it my last 100 on it and these lines are based on recent and further out support lines and a support line means the stock number comes down to this number and then it bounces back up so if we only catch one of the strike prices we're just gonna ride that back up we're not gonna chase it never chase something that's running away from you you let it go there will always be another play now here goes another play it's called media alpha ticker symbol max now this is a digital advertising company that serves the insurance industry and they went public in october so this is our chance to get in on the ground on this one but again we're not going to chase it we're going to wait for it to dip and we're going to jump on that dip now they've been knocking their earnings way out of the park right and they are up 44 percent from last year in the company and they grew their revenue 73 percent from last year now why is this company important because their customer base is insurance companies and insurance companies pay the most out of any advertiser they are willing to pay 54 dollars to get one person to click one link $54 for one person to click one link, not to buy anything, just to click the link on the advertisement. Now this is crazy. And now they are currently $34 a share. They're up 1% on a day. They are down 5% on a week and they're up 51% on a year. So we got another five-star analyst. His name is Frank Morgan and he has a 68% success rate and an average return of 20% per rating that he gives. And he gave Media Alpha a $50 price target in under a year. Now we like this. Remember the support lines. We're looking for those and we're trying to buy it right under it. So if you got $300, our first strike price is gonna be 34. We see it at 34, we put 100 on it. If we see it at 33, we put our next 100 on it. If we see it at 29, we put our next 100 on it. Now, what is our exit price for this? Our exit price for this one is gonna be like 39 or 45, right? Depending on your risk tolerance. The other one, DocuSign, I don't think I got to that with the exit price. The exit price for this one, we would kind of hold DocuSign. I'm gonna just take it back for a second. We're gonna hold DocuSign maybe long term depending on how you like this company because they're probably really going to grow but if you want to take profits consider taking profits on DocuSign at 270 but media alpha what we we're just talking about with the insurance we're going to exit this one at 39 35 ish but you can hold this one long term too it's up to you do your own research this is not financial advice now the next one on the list is called global blood therapeutics 
ticker symbol GBT, and they're a biopharmaceutical company, and they focus on sickle cell. Currently, they're at $42 a share. They're down 4% on a day. They're up 5% on a week, and they're up 44% on a year. And 14 Wall Street analysts rated this one, and 10 of them said it was a buy. Four of them say it was a hold. Zero of them say it's a sell. They got this rate at a high of 152, a low of 45, and a median of 90. Our strike prices for this. If we got $300, you're gonna put 100 on each one, right? And the first one is gonna be $39. You see that, you put the 100 on it. The next one, 36. You see that, you put 100 on it. You see 32, you're gonna put the last 100 on it. Our exit price for this is between 49 and $69. Again, depending on your risk tolerance. Do your own, do your own uh, research, you know what I'm talking about. So, let's get to it. This one, you probably didn't expect it from me, but it's time to diversify. It's time to get some exposure. But I want you to know, this one is hot. This one is hot. This is probably the, the most volatile asset that you probably ever gonna invest into. This one, you need a strong stomach for this one. A real strong stomach. This one, Bitcoin, ticker symbol BTC. We need to diversify our portfolios and have some Bitcoin exposure. So Bitcoin, you could kind of think of it like gold, but it's, it's probably even better than gold. But not to hype Bitcoin up, because this one is a long-term hold and it stores value in the same way that gold does, except they're never gonna make any more Bitcoin. So the more people that start to get in and roll in and roll in, and I want you to know, this one is probably the hottest, hottest, hottest one of them all. So you really, this one could be $30,000 a share or a coin next month, or it could be $5,000 a coin next month. However, what you gotta do is this. Think about Bitcoin. What you're gonna do is you're gonna invest into it bi-weekly. What does that mean? You're gonna pick two days out of the month and you're gonna, let's say we're doing that $300 one again. You pick two days out of the month. This is what you're gonna do. On the first, you put $50. On the 15th, you put $50. And you do this for three months and then you're gonna have $300 in it. And remember, it doesn't matter the price. You just put the money in. Then Bitcoin is gonna be doing this. It's gonna be doing this. Don't watch that, you're gonna get seasick. You can't take that one. Do not watch Bitcoin fluctuate. Just buy it at whatever price this is. Do your own research. It's not financial advice. This is just for education. But you buy it, and then how do you win with Bitcoin? You gotta hold it long term. You gotta hold this one more than five years. This thing could hit the floor next week. This thing could shoot off to the sky the week after that. This, this one is hot. Now, let's keep it going. How else should you exit Bitcoin? Personally, I would not exit Bitcoin. The longer you hold on to this, it's probably gonna be the better return that you could get. And we got a bonus because we need something stable to maintain us while we got these hot stocks. And I said this one before, but I'm gonna say it again. This one is Amazon. This is the beast, the juggernaut, the mall killer, the Macy's killer. This one kills brick and mortar stores left and right. It's a monster. And currently they are $3,220 a share. With all of these stocks, you might not be able to buy one. So consider buying fractional shares. And they're up 1% on a day, they're up 5% on a week, and they're up 82% on a year. Most companies this big do not grow like Amazon. Amazon almost doubled from last year, and this is a trillion dollar company. Now, 37 stock analysts rated Amazon, 36 of them say you should buy it, one of them say you should hold it. Who knows why he said that? Now, the price targets for Amazon are $4,500 for the high, the low of 30 or 3,048 and a median of 3,818 or 19. So buying Amazon, this one could go up way, way up. It could drop a little bit, but if you hold this one five years, you are going to be more than okay. This is not financial advice, do your own research. So that's an easy $700 made if you bought it some Amazon. Now, our strike prices, maybe this is why the do say hold. So let's go at it. This is how you buy this the smart way but you could buy it all right now if you're gonna hold it for five years. That's totally acceptable and totally fine. So we like this, you got $300, right? You're gonna buy fractional shares, let's say. You got $300, my first one, I would strike right now. Boom, this is not financial advice. My next one, I would strike at 3,100. I see that, boom, I'm putting my next 100 on it. And then my last 100, I'm putting that at 3,000. I see that, boom. And then you don't have to play this one so tight to the strike prices because it's Amazon and we know they are taking over the world. We don't have to worry about this one too much. Do your own research. So we got our comment of the day. Our comment of the day is this. He says, hey bro, I want to thank you so much. I started stocks once I turned 18, 15 months ago, and I put 5,000 in, and my portfolio has grown over $9,000 thanks to you. 
I'm 100% staying in the kitchen. Now, young man, let me tell you this right now. I am so proud of you. There are so many of us, and I think I could speak for all of us when I say when we see young people investing in their teens, all of us are proud of you. Shout out to you. We really appreciate that, and we all wish that when we were your age, we had the same mentality that you have. You have a winner's mentality, so shout out to you again. And everybody here, I want you to put some rockets in the comments to celebrate with this young man who started investing in his teens. This dude is going to be somebody. I guarantee you on that. So. If you remember this, if nothing else, don't let your fears intimidate you from the facts. If you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned. I love y'all. Take care.